Hi, welcome, Simon here. In this video, I'll be replacing speakers left and right on a MacBook Pro 15 inch. Let me show you the model here. If you take a look at the back of the computer, you should be able to identify the model is A1398. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First, I need to use the uh, Pentelope P5. To remove all the screws here and remove the back cover so if your speaker is giving you like the static sound to it like buzzing sound static sound crackling sound more likely the speaker has blown then the replacement speaker would definitely fix the problem if you're not sure where to buy the replacement speaker please check the link down description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement speakers as well as the tools for this repair. Alright, just want to point it out to you, the model for the MacBook Pro 15 inch A1398, um, this model of the year is between mid-2012 all the way to mid 2000. 15 so if you have a year that is built the model for this then the, this is the right um, speakers and the tutorial for that purpose for the speaker replacement all right so here you can see that the left and right speakers is at the bottom right corner and the left corner there must be something happened here something spill looks like a liquid but that's all right get right into the um connector right here so we go ahead and disconnect the battery first once the battery is disconnected we can jump right into the repaired so the next step is to use a torque t5 Disconnect the speaker by lifting up the connector straight up. Uh, do not pull it or anything, just lift it straight up to disconnect the uh, um, the connector. So I'm trying to do a shortcut here. It doesn't seem like it might work. There might be a lot of other stuff I need to do. Oh, in fact, I need to remove the whole motherboard. Yikes. Okay, definitely I was hoping for a shortcut but it doesn't seem like it. So, oh well, let's go ahead and disconnect the keyboard. Disconnect the uh, trackpad here. Apologize for that. <clears throat> I don't quite remember which model that was. That you don't have to remove the motherboard, uh, you can just remove the speaker. Um, I was hoping for that reason. It seems like this model here, I have to remove the entire um, motherboard for that. Apologize, I thought it wasn't. So let's go ahead and remove the entire motherboard then. No other choice. For the screen, open up the clipper and slide it to the right. There's one little. Um, Flex cable here on the top left, uh, top left corner. Make sure you disconnect that. Uh, they have this tiny little clipper. You need to flip open that little tiny clipper here, right? Once it's open, you can slide the cable to the left to remove it. And I'm gonna be still using a 12T5 here.
my recommendation is to take um, a screenshot like take a picture of the uh, internal part of the computer the motherboard and print out that picture so as you remove the screw you want to put the screw on top of that uh, printout as a reference so you know that which screw goes where later on Slide that cable to the left. That is your Wi Fi uh, webcam. All right. So let's see how many screws that we have removed so far. This is the uh, connector for the speaker. Let's go ahead and get underneath that. I am going to slide that connector down and remove it <clears throat> like such instead of removing the whole um, the whole motherboard I'm still trying to not remove entirely the less exposure the better for me Okay, so that is the speaker for the left side of it. Let me find a replacement. This is, this is the replacement for that. Make sure there's no um, metal or anything that gets stuck underneath because if there is, that metal vibration would make the static sound. Okay, so make sure the whole speaker things are clear Okay, let me reposition this and slide that cable back underneath the motherboard. Alright, let's work on this side here. If I can remove it without the entire motherboard would be great, but I guess... Well, I guess it doesn't make sense. I have to remove the whole motherboard for this. To just to get that tiny screw up and that speaker up. Kind of 
times the replacement speaker. Slide it in. Now to install the motherboard, you definitely need to slide slide in on one side first because there is a little metal gap here. You need to kind of push it in, slide it in first. And also at the same time, making sure that the uh, cables are all sitting on top of it. The motherboard, you cannot be uh, closed into it. So make sure all the cables are sitting above it, okay? This one on the top left corner. It should fall in sitting it flush, but if you feel like it is not sitting it properly, just Take your time, gently readjust the, uh, the the motherboard. Shouldn't be any force to get in. Okay. Okay, it looks good to me. Let's reconnect the cable here for the speaker. Make sure the clipper is open and you can slide that flex cable to the right to get it installed. Make sure the white line is covered all the way in. There are two screws here on the top and again making sure that the uh, the flex cable is sitting on top of the motherboard and do not forget to reconnect this flex cable here reconnect the keyboard make sure you slide it in gently and all the way in and close the clipper after reconnect the cable speaker Do not forget this tiny cable here.
Let's realign the cable for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the webcam. Slide that connector to the right, push it back in. Close the uh, that cable. Install the Wi-Fi back. So make sure that you are in the right position for all the cables. Um, by default, it's quite easy to identify them because the length of the cables, the longest would be all the way to the right, the shortest would be all the way to the left, and of course, the middle, the only thing left is the middle. All right, when, once those things are installed, <clears throat> install the hard drive. Last but not least, the battery. So double check again, making sure that all the cables are installed correctly. We have the speaker, the hard drive, the battery, the keyboard. Okay, except the LCD screen. Always double check the work. Close it down, screws, cable, everything looks good. Final check, pass. Put off this, this fan. Now it's time to install the back cover. I just want to point it out to you, if, if you find this video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button. I really appreciate you for liking it. And um, please do not forget to check the link down description below, where I would post it um, link to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement speakers for MacBook Pro 15 inch, model A1398. And the year for the model is 2012, mid-2012 to mid-2015. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.